So welcome back to the uh, third part of the tutorial with the third script. And uh, this script has the main aim to train our model. So the model that we train here um, needs our initial input data, but the trained model then can be transferred to any other data set that suits the parameters that are given here. So again, we start with importing the packages, which you do not need to do if you already did the first script and still have your R session open. Um, then we again uh, have our home directory, our data set uh, that we could, for example, uh, set again. And then we define a formula. So this formula basically has uh, the main objective to um, refer or, trans or relate our uh, layers to a certain target. So the formula is then defined with LIDAR as a target and the rest of our um, predictor variables. So our predictor variables are the variables that are used to predict the woody cover. And in this case, we have VH and VV data from two years. And then down here, this is the next function that we will, we have to run this first, obviously. And then down here, we have our out function, and that already is the ranger uh, command, uh, which will train our model. So here again, we can either um, enter um, an mtry value or a number of trees value that we define based on our experience or our, on our knowledge, or we can uh, choose our tune uh, result and then just extract the values from that uh, the same way as I explained it in the second uh, script. Additionally, you can also set the number of threads here. So threads basically means the number of CPU cores that you want to use. So um, for this, you can um, basically use the maximum number of CPUs, but again, make sure to uh, not destabilize your, your system with this command. Uh, if you want to know how many cores you have, you can just basically um, enter detect cores in R, and then you, it will prompt the number of cores that you have. Here, importance is also another parameter that you can um, differ. Uh, we choose the, the permutation. So this is the, um, the performance measure in this case. So uh, once you are um, happy with your parameters that you chose, you can just hit run and the ranger model will then train the model to be transferred to any other place. Compared to the uh, tuning and compared to the space of cross validation, uh, this should not take as long, but it can also take a bit. As you can see, the processing has now uh, finished. And in contrast to the tuning and the cross validation, uh, a nice thing here is that you can actually see how long it will take until it is finished. Uh, and as I said, it uh, did not take as long, obviously, as the tuning and the validation itself. So now we have the trained model. And last but not least, we also uh, exported this file so that we can use it at a later point uh, because we need this for the prediction. And as soon as uh, this out file here is exported, we can finalize the script and move to the to the last part of this tutorial, which will be the prediction of woody cover for the Kruger National Park. So this uh, can take a while because uh, the the training uh, model is is quite an quite a big file, and uh, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, also keep in mind that if you have not subsetted your file in the first place and work with the bigger data set now. This can also take quite a bit. So now it has finished and you are ready to move on to the last video of this tutorial.